Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Today we are Christmas vibes. Holiday Christmas vibes. I went to Starbucks and I did grab a holiday drink but they were out of what I wanted. So the barista just made me a white chocolate mocha with just like one pump of each. All of the holiday vibes, I had to go ahead and grab one of these while I was out today. We are doing a Christmas decor haul. The things that I've purchased so far for Christmassy like home items. Um, I didn't think I would have enough to do an entire video, but turns out I do. So <laughs> we're gonna be decorating very soon. Um, I will have everything I can find linked down below. Some of the things I won't be able to link because they are from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, um, etc. So if you are interested in all of the items, I will try to let you know where I purchased. I found the cutest on sale, I believe these were like 50% off when I purchased them. These are uh, Christmas flannel sheets for Sydney's room. I could not resist, I did get these at Macy's. They have little gingerbreads, little candy canes, hot cocoa, and they are that kind of a softer, they say flannel. I'm really hoping they don't make her sweat because I know personally I cannot stand like fleecy flannel sheets. These are nice and soft, so hopefully they keep her warm, but not too hot. They don't feel like they will be too hot or anything, but they were an amazing deal. I think they're still on sale, and they have several different patterns. I could not resist those. Um, Sydney's been needing some new sheets anyway, so why not? So I basically grabbed more things for Sydney's room than for you know, the, the house in general, but she's been needing some more shelves in her bedroom. She pretty much has blank walls um and so i have been wanting to grab these whoops i need to put them together these are i got them off amazon but they are ikea shelves and i'm sure you've seen them everywhere because everyone has them i'll try to insert a picture of what they actually look like um i'm gonna go ahead and put them together but it's just a little shelf with the little bracket kind of like what do you call it thing right here so you can have them this way or you can have them hanging down and um again i just got them off of amazon because i don't live near an ikea and uh, they were cheap enough anyway so i'm gonna stack these kind of one above the other and then it will be a nice place i feel like shelving makes things look more homey you can put little knickknacks on them books on them stuffed animals and it just makes everything look more a little bit more put together if you know what i mean i think they were like 10 bucks let's see i'll move on to this bag i do believe yes yeah, some of these are from home goods or tj maxx same company um i went ahead and grabbed some gift tags i thought these were absolutely adorable these are little like gingerbread houses christmas trees and a little snow globe could not resist those were 3.99 from home goods to go with I grabbed it some wrapping paper. I really want to grab the, I need to order it today before they <laughs> run out of stock. I want to grab the velvet ribbon from Anthropology. I wanted it last year, but it sold out before I could grab it. But I have some in my cart that I need to check out with. And I thought that that would be really good with this wrapping paper. The wrapping paper is also from Home Goods. Um, and I really liked the hot pink and the green colors of that. This is also from Home Goods, and it's just a pom pom ribbon. And I thought this would look really cute on our presents. So we're gonna have a lot of mixed textures and colors, and I just love that look. I don't know. I'm really bad at wrapping presents, but I feel like if I add all kinds of textures and colors and fun things, maybe maybe they'll look nice. I just like the presentation of it. I grabbed more from Home Goods, but there's no organization to my items so i'm just gonna dig in the bag that i have here sticking with sydney's bedroom these are from the dollar target dollar spot or bullseye dollar spot um so i got these little signs this one's peace and joy these were five dollars so definitely cheaper than the ones that i got for her halloween at home goods um but they they still had quite a few in stock when i went today i had to just briefly run into target today <laughs> uh also got her this one just a little snowflake with a little like sweater kind of looking background um and then all of these trees were from the dollar spot as well so i just grabbed a bunch of like i needed any 
I couldn't resist though. I really like the uh, thread ones this year. So I have a white one, a green one, a little mini white one, a little pink one, and then I think one more if I can hold them all. This one is a ceramic pink one, pink one, and it does go very well with Sydney's theme. In her room, I have, you know, the pinks and the greens, uh, just kind of keeping it a little bit more muted, just so that I don't have to buy a new comforter and buy all these things that, you know, this just goes. And so I don't really have to do a whole lot as far as redecorating to make anything match, but could not resist. Of course, these are all like three and one dollar. I've been wanting a new wreath for my front door literally for years and I just haven't been able to find one that I wanted. Uh, finally found one this year and I got this a while ago um, at Target. The ribbon has kind of come untied. I need to kind of retie it but it has that taupey brown um, velvet ribbon on the bottom and I just love this type of what is this pine is a cedar what is it anyway so I figured this would go on the front door I went ahead and grabbed these bells I think these were ten dollars online and I'm gonna hang these with that wreath and just have these kind of hanging in the middle of the wreath maybe oh no I'm making a mess on my couch and have it be kind of you know the vibe you know the vibe. I've been very into this, not rust, not totally rustic look, but a little bit more rustic. And I've been wanting uh, a garland of the wooden beads for a couple of years now. Finally found a nice large pack um, from Home Goods, And so I got this. I also did order a new tree and it's coming today. So when it does arrive, I'm gonna try to insert a clip of at least the box or maybe a picture of it or something. I am so excited about it because I've been wanting to kind of move away from my heavily flocked tree for a couple of years now. Uh, and so, I don't know, I hope it's good. I got this to go with it and I just love the look of the beaded, gar the wooded, wooden beaded garland if I can speak. And this is 20 feet. Hopefully it's long enough. I didn't want to get two. So hopefully it's long enough. I also love grabbing Sydney some books this time of year just to kind of spruce things up as she gets older, you know, some keeping it interesting, something new to read, and also stories that are long enough to, you know, they're not babyish. I have this one, which is a classic. This is The Little Red Sleigh. I've seen this everywhere. Uh, we went to Barnes & Noble with my mom the other day and they had this and they also had this story. We've already read these because they are too cute and we, you know, we read all the time. This one is the snowflake and I just think this story is adorable. It's about a little snowflake that doesn't want to fall and then it's a, you know, it's a little, just a really sweet story. And then my mom actually got this for Sydney. It was on sale for $5 and this is a little, um, acorn was a little wild. Just, I thought it was a cute little fall um, themed book for her to have and it was only $5. So I'm gonna throw that on the shelf with all of the other books as well. She does have some Christmas books from the years past or wintery books, not just Christmas. That way they can kind of stay out all winter. So those are the books that we picked up as of recently for Sydney. And then moving on to this bin. This bin of stuff I just purchased. <laughs> So first and foremost, they're having a wonderful sale today. Everything in the Wonder Shop is 40% off. I got this um, doormat. Oh, it's big. It's not gonna fit in frame with me. I got this doormat for $7. I needed a new one for the front. My doormats do not last like a year. And so I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on them. I have spent money on them before and they still don't last. So we just, it's too wet, it's too much going on. So I thought this was really cute. I like the Buffalo check ones and it just says Mary. I wanna be a little bit more classic outside and do the reds since inside I never really do the classic red Christmassy colors. Um, I want to at some point, it just feels daunting. Like I'm gonna have to buy so many things. Um, I do decorate outside a little bit more classic-y, classic a little bit more classic with the reds and the greens. Um, oh, actually this one was also from the dollar spot and this is for Sydney's room, which is already messy. But they had this sweet little Christmas tree pillow and I love the shade of green. You guys know it's like my favorite shade of green. I'm just 
all plants and all green right now five dollars and very similar to the ghost one that i got in the same section so could not resist that to pop on sydney's little bed i also grabbed these ornaments from these are from threshold studio mcgee line again with the kind of rustic wooden theme um these are just kind of that wooden almost like light feathery ornaments and it's a set of four so i thought these were uh cute enough and would go well with would kind of like tie in that beaded garland look speaking of beaded garland i did get another one this one is actually going to be used in sydney's bedroom we do have some in the past you know over you know in storage and over the years of collecting them but i just liked this and i thought that this would also be able to stay in her room not just for christmas time so it's a the beads are the white and then the natural wood what is it six feet long perfect for bookshelves and decorating with i love making layers of garland i think she has one that's like white and kind of fluffy that says mary on it and so i thought that would go well with that i bought more things for sydney's room than i did for the house in general um okay i got a new tree topper but we're gonna test this out to see i don't know i don't know um i love that this one is just a cutout it's just a silhouette and it also does light up the other one that i have is so heavy i've never really been able to have a star on the top of my tree because it's just so heavy it kind of leans forward so i'm hoping that one's a little bit more light and works out better uh let's see i also got since things were 40 percent off i usually never buy the outdoor decor because i think it's so expensive it's just so expensive so we usually just do lights and call it a day but these were only 18 dollars, and these are the little trees i think there's a set of three they're like little cheapos that come with stakes that you can put them in the ground and i figured that would be cute kind of lining the walkway up to the door hopefully they actually stay in the ground since our ground is pretty much almost starting to freeze at this point but i thought they were cute so i went ahead and grabbed those for outside um, as you can see, I did grab a bin. I feel like I can never have enough bins. And so I grabbed just a red one with a lid. Uh, is that it? And then the rest of the stuff that I got in here is just for me personally. So that is everything that I purchased for Christmas decorations so far. Like I said, I have a Christmas tree that is arriving today that I will share with you. Um, and I do want to grab a couple more like odds and ends and things. Um, but I will share those as we go, not in a haul. Since we've had two haul videos in a row, I feel like I need to chill on that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video look forward to my christmas decorates with me coming up very shortly maybe tomorrow we'll see how much time i, I can take tomorrow to go ahead and start decorating um yeah i will talk to you guys then bye mm -hmm.